Hey everybody, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom and I am back with another video, a planner video today. But what I'm going to be showing you today is uh, the teacher planner and a lot of teacher goodies because the Erin Condren teacher planner launch starts tomorrow and I wanted to get this video up. I am a teacher um, and the nice folks over at Erin Condren sent me a large box full of teacher goodies so that I could share them all with you just in time for the launch. And I have been super busy. I wanted to get this up a couple of days ago, um, but this video is basically showing you all the new things that Erin Condren has for their teacher launch. And I gotta say guys, before we get into it, I am really, really impressed. I have only really ever used the Erin Condren Life Planner and I have tried all different planners. I've gone back and forth to using like one system and another system. Um, I've tried to like condense my life all into one planner. I've tried not using a regular planner and then using a teacher planner and putting my life in that. And since this box has arrived, thinking about my last couple of years of teaching, I really, really know now like the system that's going to work for me. And it's because of some of the products that are in this box that I'm gonna share with you. So if you are a teacher and you have one planning system for like your life, if you're like me where you have kids and activities and you have other things like on the side, like a YouTube channel or other stuff or things that you're interested in, and you're also a teacher, then this is the video for you. And I do have my Erin Condren regular launch video, um, launch haul that I got, all the goodies that I got from the regular planner haul. I'm gonna be uploading that video next and I will actually show some of the items from this launch video in that one so you can see what I got in my haul, but how I plan to pair it with some of these teacher goodies. So without further delay, let's get into it. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with like the smallest things first and then build up to what I think is like the best things for a teacher's life. So the first, first thing, which is super duper cute, is the Erin Condren teacher washi tape set. So I, um, uh-oh, my, my kitten is wanting out of the craft room. So these are the washi tapes, rainbow apples. It's a four pack teacher washi tape set. And so it has this like kind of like dark muted tone um, rainbow. And then we have these um, apples washi tape, which I think is super adorable. And it kind of like, you know what it reminds me of is that um, that book where, you know, it has the caterpillar and yeah, look at the colors on this tape. I actually love this a lot. Definitely can see myself using this tape, not just in a teacher planner, but like in my regular planner, especially for like back to school. So loving that. And then there's a couple of skinnies um, that are in this set as well. And let's see, where does it begin? It's right here. It has text on it, like to copy, to prep, to call, to follow up on, to grade, and then it repeats again back to copy. So, you know, you could cut these just for the thing, uh, the set of words or the phrase that you wanna use and create little headers out of this washi tape, which I think is super perfect. Definitely will be doing this in the teacher planner or probably in my personal planner as well, which I plan to show you. Okay, and then this is the fourth washi that is in that little set. And let me see if I can get it started for you guys. So you can see, geez, I don't know where this one begins. There it goes. Okay, so it has like these like multicolored dots 
right? And then it has inspire, learn, teach, and then it just starts to repeat. That's also super adorable, very classic, very teacher-like. And I love the background, how it's that nice like salmon slash pinky peachy color. So I think that's just beautiful. Of course, I'm a fan of pink, all things pink. So um, absolutely loving this beautiful set of washi tapes. Definitely um, can see having these like in my bag always with me for all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna put those out for now. And then um, they sent me a couple of notepads. So this is just a small little focus teacher sticky note. It is by the Post-it Company and it just has in my classroom prep, contact and then like a um a list here for a quick to do and i like this like i can see putting this on my desk i really wish like it was a little bit thicker like i wish there was more sheets but i would definitely purchase this and have this on my desk because i feel like this is like a daily quick list like i can always look back in my planner and i've been trying to be better about using my planner to do that but sometimes it's just like i need to brain dump the day and the end of the day of all the things that i need to do and so this is like really great how it's broken out into these three sections and that's it and if it's like prepping something contacting or getting a hold of somebody and then anything else that is perfect to have um, as a teacher like for quick notes quick planning on the fly okay so let's take a look at the next notepad that they sent me and guys before i bring it out i absolutely love this notepad so this notepad i think is a little bit bigger like variation version of this like this is just like your quick, easy, like note taking, planning on the fly. But this other one, like there's definitely a lot of more thought that went into it. It's absolutely adorable. It's a little bit bigger. So it's like that five by seven, I guess, size, maybe eight size and super adorable. Like this just looks like it belongs on the top of your desk. Um, it has the same like boxes for a contact, a prep, and a to-do list, but then it has this extra space down here. And then it has all of this beautiful multicolored teacher artwork. I absolutely love this. And if you follow this channel and you're not a teacher, I just wanna say, if you have kids, it doesn't matter what grade, if you purchase this for their teachers, they will absolutely love this. Um, this makes a great gift. You could pair it with like their favorite candy bar and then you have a decent gift that is not like just food. It's not super expensive where you're just defaulting to a gift card and it's also very useful. I don't know if there's a teacher out there who wouldn't appreciate this notepad. Um, it just, it's all things school and it's a great way for her or him to like organize and collect their thoughts, especially on a daily basis. And it's adorable. This is very great too. Um, however, this is just more fun, has a lot more room on it. And so this is great for teachers and it makes a great gift. So that is something to keep in mind if you have kids in school and you're not a teacher. Okay, so let's move on. I'm gonna move on to the dashboards that they sent me. Um, I am personally not a big fan of dashboards. I have purchased them in the past. I have several of them. However, I just feel like they're, you know, the dry erase dashboards. I just don't want a dry erase in my planner. Um, maybe that's because I dry erase on the board, like I write things for my students on the board. And so I kind of leave the dry erase markers where they're at and I leave my pens and my markers and my pencils for planning like in my planner bag. So to have like a dry erase board or dashboard in my planner is just not something for me. However, I know there's several people out there that absolutely love them. So Erin Condren sent me two snap-in dashboards. Let's talk about the little one first. Um, this is basically like a running to-do list, but with a teacher's um, flair on it. So it has 
copies, grade, and contact. This is great, especially if you have copies to make every day and then things that you wanna follow up to grade. Look, I have pen on me from the day of grading papers, guys. <laughs> so that's just funny that it is in my hand. So at the, my students are on iPad, so we don't always have a ton of papers that we're copying and then grading. A lot of our work has actually gone electronic. Um, but when it's at the end of the year and we have iPads being returned, kind of like library books, students don't have access to that technology anymore. So we kind of revert back to paper copies. So if any of them um, were taking a grade on, this would be cute to have for that. On the back, it just has a to-do and a looking ahead, which it also comes in that beautiful um, Eta V design, which is what um, Erin Condren has for its theme for its launches this year at Avi the Designer. All of her um, prints are gorgeous, beautiful. They were in the regular launch for Erin Condren and they are following through with them in the Teacher Planner launch. So um, just having that in the border with a little bit of the foiling in there, especially on the words, it's just gorgeous. Um, but like I said, I am not a dashboard type of person, but I know a lot of people who love them and they use them like uh, bookmarks. So um, that is the the half size one, I guess. I forget what size it's called. Um, it says universal. So I guess it doesn't matter what planner you have. You can snap that into any planner. Now the next one that they sent me is this larger one that fits in the like uh, seven by nine planner. You can also snap it into the larger teacher planner, which is the full notebook size. And this one still carries in the Eta V Inspire design, like in the background with all of the goodness of the foiling. Except what's nice about this one is it has a Monday through Friday to do like a uh, section here and it has a before school and an after school and I actually do really like and appreciate this and I'll tell you why in my regular planner I have like my daily to do and I would have like whatever's going on for the day for me or for the school or for my kids or for my class like whatever the thing is of the day. And sometimes I'd have more than one, but you know, that would be great to put here. And then I would have my to-do list of what I needed to do before the day start, like run these copies for this lesson, um, make sure that I have X, Y, Z prepped before the kids come into my classroom. And then after school, like anything that I needed to follow up on, either from the day I needed to call a parent, or maybe I need to prep something for the next day or turn in something to administration. Having these before and after school boxes is totally super useful. So in a dashboard format, like that's great. This would be also a great notepad. Um, to have. And then you also have a little Saturday and Sunday. So if you kind of need to pre-plan your weekend, for me, when it's the weekend, I'm done. I don't go back to school. I check out. I don't take papers home. Like I consider the weekend by family time, my time back for me, um, and just, you know, recovering. And then on Sunday evenings, I do my best to plan the week ahead just to kind of put my head into, okay, this is what's happening, at least for tomorrow or for Monday. But so this dashboard is awesome. I would love to see it in a paper notepad if it doesn't already exist. This is definitely something I would purchase if it was in a notepad. Um, and I will be checking to see if it is in a notepad because I love, 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 love this layout. Um, I'd even like to see it like in a to-do list fashion and then a before school and an after school in a notepad because like I could totally use the heck out of something like that. Um, on the back it says create hope for tomorrow and then it has six boxes for you to use for whatever you want which is kind of nice. It reminds me of like the year at a glance or the year pre-planning um, in the regular planners. So even if you are a teacher and you do not use a teacher planner, I could see getting this dashboard and snapping it into your regular planner and then having a little bit of your teacher life mixed in 
with your regular life, like your life outside of school. So that's one way you could actually bring the two together. Um, I have personally tried putting everything together, but what I found was I was bringing work home and then I was trying to like think of things for home at work and that was clashing, colliding my two worlds. And so some of the products that I'm about to show you are going to like keep them separate and for a certain purpose. It doesn't mean that I won't have like activities and things planned in my normal planner that are related to school. But um, there's just certain things that I don't need in my planner that just need to stay at school. And I will get to that in just a minute. So, so far we're at the washi, the two notepads, and the two dashboards. Now, Erin Condren has sent me two pen sets, two marker pen sets. And guys, I am in love. I don't think I have ever received any pens or marker sets from Erin Condren for being a part of like their affiliate um, program. So when I saw these in the box, like I was super delighted. And I have teacher pens at school um, that I use all the time for grading and they are dull, uh, they go missing, like I have every color in the rainbow and I honestly never thought that I would use those pens prior to being a teacher, but I'm here to tell you, you do. And yes, they do get on you, I got proof. Um, so. Let me show you the first one, the first set that I have is the dual tip list markers and these are amazing. So on the back, I don't know if you can see that, but it has the colors, right? And it has what each color or what each pin does for the tip that's the fatter tip. So it's a check mark or a box. Do you see that? It's a check mark or a box. And then I'm gonna flip it upside down the opposite end of the pen is a fine tip writing pen. I can see using these in just my regular planner, any planner, your teacher planner, like you name it. These markers are definitely going to get a workout with me. So I'm just going to pull them out right here and show you really quick. I pulled a piece of the uh, paper off from the teacher notepad. And let's just start with the pink. You can kind of see how it's a raised little tip. And you probably kind of have to line it up right because like this way it looks almost like a backwards L. But then if you just tip it a little bit, you get that perfect, look at that check mark. I love that. That's like, doot, 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 I did my to-do list. Love that. And then of course you have the pen, oh, and it writes in black. The pink writes in black on one side, pink on the other. Oh, that's really cool. So I did not recognize that until just now. So let's take a look here. The green is a square, gotta get it just right. And then the opposite side is also, it looks like it is black. Yes, so green and pink are black. Let's take a look at the blue. The blue is another, or this like turquoise, yeah, I would say, is another check mark. And then it is also in a blue. And for some reason, my ink is a little light. Okay, so it looks like it's a little bit lighter of a blue. It says Lagoon for both colors, but this one looks a little lighter than this one. Could just be my pen, I don't know. All right, let's see, what's next? The purple is another checkbox square. Let me get it right there. I guess you kind of have to work that out. Ooh, I guess you could do it like that too. Okay, and then let's see, this color should also be orchid as well. So yeah, so the pin, the fine tip side, definitely seems to be a little bit lighter in the ink than the, the, um, the thicker side. But still, I like them either way. I just would probably need some practice with them. I am standing up and normally I'm writing sitting down. So that could be also my issue here. So this is the navy, which I love the navy. That's a go-to color for me. And then it also comes in the black. 
So definitely loving that. And then we have the gray, which is another box. And it also comes in gray on the fine tip side. So, and it's slightly lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these up closer to the camera just so you can see all of the colors. And again, I'm standing, so that may be why it's a little, okay? I've had a long day grading papers and doing portfolios for kids, so don't judge my writing, but I do love these pens. They are gorgeous colors. They look like they, you know, will be writing very well. So I definitely can't wait to use these. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Erin Condren um, team for sending these to me. Okay, so there's the first set. Now the second set, I'm even a little bit more excited about. The packaging is like a little bit more durable. Like this is a case I feel like you could keep these in. They are also dual ink tipped highlighter pens. So these are um, going to be a lot lighter. And you can see here, they all highlight a color, but then they all write in, it looks like the black ink. So I'm not gonna pull them all out, but let's just do maybe the pink because it's my favorite color. So you can see here, it's pink highlighter. And then over here, it's the gray writing. So I'm gonna highlight, oh, that's such a gorgeous color. Look at that. And then on the opposite side, you can write. And I'm just, oh, I love this. I'm writing my name. Beautiful. Let's just try maybe one more. These are amazing. These are the Rainbow and Black Dual Ink Dual Tip Highlighter Pens. Comes in a pack of 12. I would purchase these even if they hadn't sent them to me. These are going to probably be some of my favorite Erin Condren pens. Oh yeah, look at this. I am loving that color. And then again, let's just write crafty. Oh yeah, this is sweet. I love this. Absolutely in love with these. These will probably be joining my planner bag. In this case, this plastic, it's a little bit thicker then like this, it's just different. Like this is the kind of plastic like you might throw away, but this I would probably keep. I don't know, I just really like the way that that comes. So um, I'm gonna put the dashboard over there and then the pins there. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna push some of this up and out of the way. I want to show you guys my, um, designer sticker book that they got. That's the teacher designer book. And it's super cute. It kind of matches the Apple's um, theme that's on the washi tape, if you remember from earlier. So very teacher-like. This also would make a great gift for a teacher. On the back, it shows you all of the sheets that are inside. But let's go ahead and open this up. Can't wait to use this. I will probably, whoop, I will probably keep this in my teacher planner at school so that I have just a little bit of stickering things there. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't plan to sticker at school. When I'm at school and I'm writing things down and making my lists and checking them off and doing grades and student things, I really don't get into the stickers. But when I'm home and I'm planning like my weeks and my months and my days, I take the time to like kind of uh, plan those moments so that when I'm looking through them or referring to them, it kind of like makes me happy. So just a thought, but I'm going to keep these at school just for a little bit of razzle dazzle into the teacher program. So, or planner. So the books open a little bit differently in the past. They were just like regular book style, but now they have like this nice top fold and this little bottom piece that flips out. And then they are kind of like a notepad. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so pretty. So these, maybe I won't take these to school. Maybe I'll just leave them home. Okay, so these are stickers, but they are shaped in the, like a tab shape. See that? Like they're shaped like a tab, but it's a full on sticker. I could see someone really making some beautiful 
tabs out of these stickers um, and doing something really amazing with those. Then on this page with the silver foiling, we have the to-do list boxes. These are bigger than normal size to-do list boxes, um, but I love that. I love the space you have there. And then here's some apple boxes with lines. These are adorable. And this has like that rose gold foiling. Then this, this is what I saw in the flip. Look at all the words here. You have testing, conference, meeting, IEP. Okay, so if you're not a teacher, what the IEP is, is it stands for a student's individual education plan, IEP. So if you're not a teacher, you maybe wouldn't know that, but just the, the detail that Erin Condren has taken in putting these stickers in there just makes my little heart happy because so many students nowadays are having individual education plans. And so there's always meetings and follow-ups and things to net reference on their plans that as a teacher in the classroom, you have to be aware of and you have to provide like certain accommodations for. So marking out the IEP accommodations is like super important. So having these stickers is important. Now I'm looking at these stickers. They do, oh yeah, look, they're clear. So they're like a highlight. Like on your paper, they'd be like a clear purple highlight um, or whatever color it is that you're picking up. Beautiful. I'm going to try and get that back down in there. So I have it. Don't want to lose it. Uh, love this. Love, 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 love this. Maybe I'll take my favorites to school. Oh, perfect. It's getting even better. So we have field trip, which this has like 10 or so field trips. I'm going to be honest. We have like one field trip a year, maybe two if we're lucky. So this will last me five years, this row of field trips. Assembly, observation. So when you're a newer teacher, you have several ob observations a year, like maybe six or seven, at least based off my experience. And then once you get into a little bit further and your credentials get a little bit higher, you have less. So that's a good amount to have. You have tutoring here. If you tutor library, um, we have library every other week. So would definitely love to see more library. Uh, let's see, personal days are in there, a lot of those. We have a lot of development. There's about four or five of those we have a day, but it looks like there's the same. Planning, it's once a week. So we have 180 days of school. And what is that? I can't do math <laughs> right now. My brain is so tired. But we have planning every week. So definitely would need planning for all of those weeks would need more of those and then early release we typically have one of those a month so it would be nice to have 10 early releases and then we have break begin so like you have spring break summer break winter break which there's cuter stickers out there for breaks but anyway I love where this is going I've never really seen these specific planner stickers for teachers in the past, but maybe I've missed them. Doesn't mean that they weren't there, but I really, really appreciate some of the wording on some of these because they are perfect. Okay, birthdays, love this. Um, it says two in the middle with two lines on it. I'm not really sure how I would do that. Um, is that for birthday? I don't know. Anyway, love the birthdays in the middle. And again, it has that gold foiling. And then, oh, I skipped a page. We have some quote, like washi tape here. You make a difference every day. There's no substitute for hard work. Be the reason someone smiles today. Every day is a new adventure. Love this, super motivating, super inspiring. The colors are gorgeous definitely full of school stuff. Again, we have some more of those like little tabs are a little bit smaller and then some half circle apple stickers here for like notating things. Loving that. The rainbow circles with foiling. Then we have some icons here. These are like those gel, like clear iridescent type of stickers. Um, love that with the check. Oh, I love the coffee cups. That's a favorite. And let's see. Oh yeah. This is like your trackers. 
So like for the week, if you're tracking anything, loving this. Then we have some longer listing here, note to self. And that's all of that's in this uh, sticker book. So this is a gorgeous little sticker book, would make a great gift. Loving this, definitely plan to use some of these stickers in the teacher planner. Okay, so the next two things I'm gonna show you, at first when I saw them, I was kind of like, eh, not really my jam. But then I kind of started thinking about it and um, I was like, okay, I could totally see using that. So at school, I have this kind of like clip-in binder slash notebook where I can add pages to it uh, that the school gives me. So the school will sometimes give me a schedule chart or they will give me a phone list for like all the teacher's phones in the building or I will get like how we're supposed to do um, just like fire drills or safety protocols or um, any kind of information that's crazy on a printed sheet by our administration. And like, if you don't have a system for those papers, it kind of just becomes a stack of papers in a folder or just on your desk. So this year, what I decided to do was kind of tab my notebook. So some of it was for like doing certain plans, like those IEPs. Some of it was for like beginning of the school year. Some of it was just school information to know or for substitutes, that sort of thing. And I kind of just had it in this like clip-in notebook um, with the tabs, but no real like protection for those papers. So when Erin Condren sent this, I was kind of like, well, that's a little large for the teacher planner um, that they sent me, but um, in reality, it will fit perfect for all of those pages. And so this is a, this is a gold leather or maybe leather like, I'm not, I think it is leather folio. It has this nice snap in closure here you open it up it has a pen loop and then when you open it this way you have this nice pocket here and then this section lifts up so you can slide a notebook in it or a folder and i'll show you let me see if i have an example of exactly what i mean and i don't because the notebook that i use is at school but you could put a entire um, notebook. Now, if you have the regular like seven by nine Erin Condren planner, you could easily slip that in here, but it would it would just kind of swallow it up. If you purchase a regular teacher planner with the coil, it will fit nicely into this portfolio. But I plan to take this and use it with um, the snap in kind of folders. It's almost like those those disc ones that you see, like where you can just add your pages. I plan to use that into this type of system and then add the papers to it as it goes, like just putting them on top, but putting them within my files. Um, then over here, it has a very nice um, corner pocket here. Um, don't know if like you could fit the pens in there, kind of keep that secure. It has like another pen loop, like you could put your favorite like writing pens. And then this has another snap closure here. So I don't know, you could probably put like your ID in here, or I could see you like putting some like of your, a few dollars for like lunch money in here. So you kind of just have this like really nice portfolio for on the go, keeping all of your papers nice and protected. So I really, really, really love um, this folio. And like I said, at first I was kind of like, eh, what would I do with it? It's a nice champagne gold color. Um, I would have probably picked like, not like a shiny color, but you know, this is really beautiful and definitely something I could see carrying around school and having with my and very important papers. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is the vegan leather, um, clip folio. Now this, I'm very excited about. This is similar to that, but it's even better in my opinion. Um, this is the regular, like fits eight and a half by 11 paper size. Comes in this nice plastic, keep it protected. And guys, this is so soft, 
so smooth. I love, love, love this blush color. It has the gold foiling, has the asterisks, the Erin Condren asterisks kind of just sprinkled in the corners. I could see like you put like a vinyl on here maybe, but I don't know. I don't think I'd want to ruin it. Just kind of keeping it simple and loving this like buttery soft like vegan leather. And then when you open it up, it's a clip clipboard and it has this beautiful Erin Condren notepad. So you're going to a meeting, you have a clipboard here. So it's, it's very hard. Like there's, it's stitched like on the outside, it's like kind of padded, but then on the inside, it's a little bit more like thick durable. Like there's cardboard in there. It's, you can't slip anything in there, but it does have the clipboard. So you can clip that in very nicely. And again, this is sewn down too, very hard. And then you have this pocket here um, with the three pen loops. So you could add like a pin or two to have in there, which I think is very, very nice. This is perfect for, you know, just going to a meeting and you're not really sure what you need to bring. You kind of have this, it looks professional. It's very, very nice. So I know this is not made to go in the folio, but an Erin Condren planner is about that size. And what I meant was, because it's a little too big, is you could put this, like your Erin Condren coiled planner would fit into this very nicely. And it's, it's very durable to hold, but this is still a little bit big with a folio because it's not, these are not made to go together. So I don't want to confuse you with that, but just letting you know that their leather pieces and their leather folio, this, especially this vegan leather um, clip folio is super nice. I love, love, love the color that they sent it in and it's just very, very beautiful. I can totally see myself using this in the future. Okay, so the next thing up I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I would use that. But when I was at work today, last week, I realized that I do have something that I was kind of creating to use for record keeping on some of my students' grades. And I kind of forgot about it because I we went with some certain digital um, assessments. So I have them digitally and then I had to record them back down onto a record book for um, portfolio keeping. So Erin Condren has the perfect teacher record book and it's kind of like that seven by nine size. So even if you don't plan to um, keep the teacher planner, you have this, which will be coming in super handy. It has the Etta V inspired design which is so 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 beautiful guys look at this it has the gold foiling love love the colors here so glad i get to have that so let's take a look at the inside like i said it's a record book and it has your schedule classroom events and dates which that's good to have for the beginning of the year a communication log so in the past i've just printed like a standard worksheet one from a teacher website but this is perfect because I can keep it in one place. And then it has some graph paper here. So if you can do like a floor plan where the first weeks of school, especially when you have new students and you're trying to learn their names, you can quickly mark where they sit the first day of school. And then it kind of helps you remember their names very, very quickly. So you have a couple sheets of that. And then you get into the record keeping. Um... What's really cool about this is once you write it down first, it says right here, fold or cut along this line. So like I could do all my assessments here, right? I could do subjects, but then this line, I could fold back, right? And use this for the same list. So I don't have to recopy my students' names. So that's kind of cool. I do like that. Let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 14 here, and then what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
19, I think. Maybe I miscounted. But, yeah, that's a good amount of record. And then, like, if you do decide to fold that one back, then you lose, like, five or six of those on the end. But still, you could go to another page. And you have pages upon pages of this record keeping, like, so many. It might even say it in the info. But then when you get to the last of them in the back, you have notes pages. So I teach third grade in the state of Florida, and that's a state uh, law where our grade is a grade that state testing is used to promote a kid to the next grade to fourth grade. And so every year there's different things. Like this year there was a change to the test that was renamed, yada, yada, yada. And there's notes and legislation and things that come into play with it or there's rules based off the any given student year. So what's great about this is like, this is a place to like keep track of that. Like the meetings that are happening, how you're going to be able to track different records for kids or the different ways that they're able to be assessed in order to be promoted to the next grade. And then of course, keeping all of their assessments. This book, I could definitely see keeping handy, like especially with the folio right here. Look at this. This fits very nicely in here. Boom. Ready for those very important meetings or like teacher conferences. Walking in, you know, you want to look prepared. You want to look professional. Love this folio, especially with the record book. Um, and it says you are making a difference every day. That's probably the best quote because sometimes when a student does struggle, you feel like it's personally you, and maybe different things that are going on. So this is a great reminder. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. And I'm gonna put some of this off to the side. I have one more thing to share with you guys um, before we go, but... I saved the best for last, or what I feel like is the absolute best for last, which is the teacher lesson planner. Now, it is a 12-month planner, but for me, our students, we go to school 10 months out of the year, and we have a traditional two-month summer break. So, two months I probably will not need, but... I opted when Erin Condren said that they were gonna be sending me a planner. Most teachers I feel like ordered or requested maybe like the spiral, which is the eight and a half by 11, like the full size notebook page, notebook spiral planner. And like I said, I just ordered from the Erin Condren launch for their regular launch and I got the spiral notebooks that are their planners that the life planner is seven by nine. So to get a bigger version of that, I just felt like that was a lot of bulk. Um, and I've done that kind of planner before and it's just, it's just not for me. It's heavy and it's just not for me. So I opted to get the soft bound teacher lesson planner. It lays flat when you open it has 12 months, a yearly view, a monthly, and a weekly spread. Also has communication logs, checklists, and note pages. So, let's open up this planner. Now, I gotta be honest, I already peeked at it a little bit, but I put it away just so I could save it for the video. Um, okay, so this is that super soft, leather-like, I guess, binding on the planner. Um, I love it. It doesn't feel the same as the vegan leather or the regular leather, leather, but um, it's it is very very nice. So I'm definitely loving that. And then when you open, so it's like very neutral. And then when you open it, you get that at a V, beautiful inspired design. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off of here. And I am very excited. Like I said, I'm going to be leaving this at school um, for the most part because once I come home for the day, like I don't really plan my lessons um, out. Like I do the planning at school. I do them in my team with my other teachers. And so I feel like this is going to be the way for me to write it out and then put it in our virtual plan that we all share, like on a shared drive. Okay, so in the front, it has like all about me, 
and it has the EDA-V design like carried out through the top of the pages. Your email, your phone, classroom resources, development, events, all that good stuff. Um, it has a communication log, which is very similar to this. So this is like a complement to this. I feel like you could or, or could not actually use both of them. Um, I'm not really sure, like, let's see, it has just the one here. So I could see like maybe for the beginning of the year and then converting to that. But I feel like if you're gonna start in that, you should just stay in that. That's just my personal opinion. And then you have starting with July, 2023 through December of 2024, um, the year at a glance, and then you have planning. Okay, so Erin Condren, if you're watching this, guys that designed this, you start the planner with July, right? So here's my only thing, and I understand that some people might think that that is just crazy, but hear me out. This is my opinion when it comes to a teacher planner, like at a glance planning. You should put July, this page over here, and then the January page over here because that is how the school year goes. We start in August and we go through to December and then we carry on in January through the spring back to summer. Um, and that is the way our brains work. And in a teacher's life, we read left to right. So when I'm planning my school year, I start over here and my next habit is like to turn the page, but no, I go backwards to plan the rest of the year here. Just my two cents. I know not everyone would agree with that, but I feel like in a teacher's planner designed for teacher planning, our school year goes July, well, August to like May, June. So I would really love to see these two pages swapped to go with the flow of our life. Just my two bits. But nonetheless, these pages are great. They are beautiful. Um, I will see if I use them just because I have to write like backwards like that. My brain doesn't work that way. So um, if I use them, I use them. If not, it's not a big deal because it's only one spread in the entire planner. Um, then you get the graph paper again to do any kind of seating charts or layout of the classroom, which is great. Then dates to remember in July. So here we go. We're starting with July um, instead of January. So love that. So you have like notes and things to do and things to prep before the year begins. You have a spread here so you can kind of like lay it out. I love the months. I love the inspired color at the top because I don't feel like I'm obligated to add color with stickers. But I love, 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 love the like muted, soft one color on the outside like that is my jam so when i open it up it's just a happy whatever but on the outside it's like all business professional so and then we go into our weekly spreads which you can label by subject here or one thing that i did was things i needed to do before school during school and then after school and then because I teach reading and social studies, I teach those twice a day. I am an elementary school teacher, but we swap or we're departmentalized. I only need to plan reading and social studies. That's it because I repeat that twice each day. And then over here, I could do like personal development or something like that. So like this entire spread is strictly with school planning, um, which I absolutely love. And like this, the weekly spread does not have a weekend spread. So this book stays with planning when it comes to planning with my team at school. And then I just work out of my personal life planner with my to-dos of what I have going on there or to prep. So I absolutely Love, love, love this. Now I could think of another way to use this where maybe by the day, like I do conferences and then have reading, social studies before school 
after school in development, something like that I could see using. And then I have like a running to-do list kind of thing here for the week. So um, you can set this up however you want. So if you teach like middle school and you teach however many classes a day, you could set it up that way. Um, you know, it's really, really good on however you can do it. I've even seen where some people take this out and they make this their day and go downward. So they only have the five boxes and they turn this into like a personal planner. And then they have six days of the week. Um, if you wanted to, you could do like a Monday through Saturday and then you could still turn this into like a Sunday. Yeah, it's really up to you how you would want to do it. But for a teacher planner, this is amazing. I love this. I can see leaving this out on my desk, coming in saying, okay, what do I got? And flipping it because I'll be honest, I pull up my plan that's in a virtual document and I'm pulling it up every single day. And so the first day of the week during my personal time or my my teacher planning time where I have it to myself, I could fill this out for the week and then be done with it and then just have this sitting out on my desk to glance at without having to re-log into the system um, to know what's going on or what to prep for the next day. So love that. Plus it reduces however many tabs are open and it's like a lay flat planner. So let's jump to the back. Here's January. Um, February, March, and we end May or June, May, June, we end in June. And then after June, we have all of these, let's see, a couple different note pages. Looks like maybe 10, two, three, five, six, seven, six and a half, seven note pages. And then we go into the student checklist. Um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are nice thick sheets of paper too. So love this paper. So eight. So yeah, definitely see this working as the workhorse for everything. This could complement it if you need the extra checklist pages. I do love how it's like handy in that regard um, as just a separate record book. Um, I love the portfolio to match for when you're going into meetings, but I gotta say this planner is gonna be my go-to thing at school. Of course, I'm digging the notepad. I guess I'm just telling you guys all of my favorites, which a lot of it is my favorite. The markers, the washi tape. We cannot forget the gorgeous washi tape. And of course, the stickers and the quick contact notepad. I forgot that. So yeah, there is a lot of good teacher things coming out in the Erin Condren Teacher Planner launch, not just planners. And if you're any kind of teacher, a homeschooling mom or teacher, definitely check them out. Um, they also have things that are great for teacher gifts, even if you are not a teacher. I will leave my affiliate code down below so that you guys can see that. I believe they have a promotion with the launch as well. So I hope you guys check it out um, because this one, I feel like this year, is it's a good one. And it's really good to see Erin Condren having such a um, understanding of like what's going on with teachers. It seems like they really got into the heads of teachers and what's needed in their stationary type of products. So super happy with this launch. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Helps me out so much. If you've watched this long, thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I upload a video. I am trying my best to get on a more consistent schedule. And lastly, I told you that I will be putting up my regular Erin Condren launch haul video up next. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that because there was so much goodness in that and I might even be doing a little freaking planning just to make it like 
so much better. <laughs> so I would love to share that with you guys. If that's your jam, you'll want to make sure that you catch that one. And I will leave you with that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.